A multi-million dollar restructuring exercise is underway at the Portis Key Dock. The $3.2 million initiative began late last year, and once completed, officials anticipate improvements in every aspect at that facility. During a press conference this morning on site, the transport minister, along with stakeholders, heralded the developments taking place. Amidst the daily bustle of activity at the Polisky Dock, many changes are taking place there. For one, there is a new entrance to the dock. Minister of Transport Glennis Hannah Martin confirms the first phase upgrade is part of the government's $3.2 million restructuring exercise. The intention is to provide for a more rational operational environment, which includes, as you've heard, traffic redirection, the building of a freight building for passenger terminals and for passenger terminals with amenities. There'll be parking, unprecedented, landscaping for an enhanced pedestrian experience. You will see curbing, which is permanent for the first time ever in the history of Potters Key Dock, which brings a safety feature that is that we have not seen before. The Ministry of Agriculture, who will speak more to their involvement, is finalizing plans for restaurants, for the restaurants along the causeway. We also we will also undertake enhanced security and safety measures, improve lighting, CCTV. The work started since the first week in December at the Western Foreshore at the dock, beginning with civil works. Project officer at the Ministry of Works and Urban Development, Fred Horton, says realignment of the roads as a safety mechanism is a key feature of the project. There are some difficulty with the 18-wheeler tractor-trailer 14 uh, 40 foot containers that um, uh, try to negotiate the turn. Sometimes they have to back up and um, it, uh, it, it creates a traffic um, nightmare. Harton says the three phased project is not only ahead of schedule but on budget. Interruption on Bay Street as well as the um, entrance and exit um, um, areas uh, near the causeway. There will be partial um, and full closure of some roads, uh, also diversion of traffic. Phases 1 and 2 are expected to be completed by May this year and Phase 3 to begin shortly thereafter. Carla Palmer, ZNS Network News.